Okay, we're very fortunate to be here with Craig Mottram, bronze medalist from the World Championship 5K in 2005 in Helsinki. Craig, one of the things that you incorporate in your training is a lot of core work, and there'll be some people sitting at home thinking, what are some one percenters we can do to help us with our half marathon and marathon? Core work is something that has become quite prevalent with people now in preparing themselves. What are some of the things that they can do in relation to core work? Well, when I look at core, Lee, I look at things that you can do at home that don't require you to necessarily come to a gym like this. You don't need weights, you don't need a Swiss ball, you don't need any of that. You can do it in your hotel room or you can do it at home. Um, obviously the idea behind the core activities are three wraps, both in the front and on the side, and uh, lower back. So extremely important when you're running middle distance, anywhere from 800 through to the marathon. Because um, if our hips get to get loose and unstable, then our pelvis drops and we fatigue quicker. So core is pretty important for that aspect of running. Okay, well give us, say, two or three examples of things okay. that people can do. Right. I learned these very early on in my career and I've done them throughout you know, the last 10 years when I was competing down at Landy Field with yourself when I was a, a young kid at 18, 19 years old and I'm now 30 years old and it hasn't really changed much over the last 10 years. So, first one is a basic uh, ab exercise. We've all done quite slow and controlled. Actually, I'll turn the side on so you can see the uh, principle behind it. So we want 90 degree uh, angles here, here and there. So we start with this, we put our thumbs under our lower back to make sure that we don't arch. And then we lower down, the heel, just above the ground, back up, down again, back up. Remember to keep it 90 degrees, 90 degrees, down, back up, down. Where do you feel about that? That's one. Oh, it should hurt in here. Okay. In your right abdomen? Yep, so that's one. Um, the idea behind it is to do it slow, as I said. It's pretty, it's pretty hard. I've been doing it the last half an hour, so it gets pretty hard. But the idea is to count slowly, you start with you know, a two count, and then work your way to a three count, then a four count, then a five count, and so on as you progress and get better. Uh, second one is a standard bridge, which everybody's done, which is the same thing on your front, arms down like that, making sure that your back is pretty flat, Drew, but you can point me through if my ass is down and my back's pretty flat. Seems okay to me, looks like a dinner table, you can do <laughs> So, this is the first. Pull the call. If you find that too hard, opening your legs can make it a bit easier. It takes a bit of pressure off your abs. Same area, you're going to focus on the front of your abs. So for the more experienced, legs together. And then another extension is the leg out. Count to three. Down. Leg out. Count to three. Down. Three. Focus on keeping the back flat and the ass level to the ground. Okay, that's that one. It's the same thing, start with two count and three count. And you can do it three or four or five times depending on, on the level you're at. Um, what's another one? Okay, on our backs, the next two exercises will focus on, on glutes. So this one is on our back, arms directly above your head, back flat on the floor, and you lift your pelvis up towards the sky. And we hold your hips straight. Keeping your hips straight, the idea keep your pelvis flat. So we don't want any of this sort of tipping to the side. So we want it nice and straight, like this. Remember, arms above our heads. Hold it here using both glutes, switch them both on, and then we extend one leg out, making sure that it's in line with the other leg and keeping our hips nice and stable. Down. Same thing, three count. And glutes activated at both Glutes times. activated, yep. So you'll feel it'll start to burn in, in both glutes as you get fatigued, and the idea is to fatigue yourself. So that's that one. And the fourth one is on our side. Same thing, switch on both the glutes. Side bridge, like this, making sure your body's nice and straight, droopy on nice and straight. Yep, good. Arm up. And then for the advanced people, one arm up in the air, one leg up in the air, three count, down, up, down, up, down, and then we swap, all in one movement, same thing, nice and straight, arm up.
And that's the side bridge, activating both glutes. Oh, it's hard work. Right. So there's some core activities. What are we, three minutes? Not even, not even. Three minutes, worked up a sweat, working hard, abs are burning, and you can do it anywhere in the world, any room. Good luck. So there you go, it's imperative to actually realise that when you're running the half marathon and marathon, you're going to fatigue in the last third of the race. And what will happen is as you're fatiguing, your hips will drop and you'll start to become sloppy in your form. By doing a simple program like this, only two or three times a week, you're helping to strengthen those areas that will be the ones that will actually become sloppy and tired. By strengthening, they'll become taut and you'll be able to find that you might be able to run an extra two or three miles longer before that fatigue kicks in. Craig, thanks. Thank you. Pleasure.